and welcome to this live session of slow deep stretches and followed by some EFT to help you through the lockdown period and um, I'm hoping you'll enjoy this lovely free session. Get yourself a mat, get yourself a little glass of water. So we're just lying down on our back and we're bringing our knees into our chest and we're just going round in little circles just to ease off the back and then we're taking the circles round the other way. Now just lift your feet all the way up, lift your legs all the way up. This is a good one to release um, tightness from the hamstrings if you've been walking or bike riding. So you're going to lift your head and try and take the legs over the top. That's it. Lovely. And start to breathe nice and slow and steady. Don't overdo it. Okay. All right. Now we're going to open the legs wide and place the backs of the hands inside the knees and just create a little bit of resistance there. Now take a slow breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Slow breath in through the nose and exhale blow gently out through the mouth. Slowly bring the legs together, but only hip distance. Grab hold of your feet and press down. So we're pressing into happy baby pose. Just apply a little bit of pressure there so you feel your spine connecting to the ground. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Once more, inhale. Exhale through the mouth, contracting your pelvic floor, release the left leg down and hold the right knee into your chest and just begin to circle your ankle and then we're just going to guide the knee all the way down to the left side. Don't force this, if it doesn't want to go then don't force. Extend the right arm out behind you and just look over your right shoulder. Take a full breath in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. So when you exhale, purse your lips as if you're blowing on the back of someone's neck gently. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Very slowly release and allow that right leg to come down and then bring the left leg up, circle the ankle and then when you're ready, slowly guide the knee all the way down or as far as it wants to go over to the right side. Don't force, allow the right leg to just relax where it wants to. Look over left shoulder, take a full breath in through the nose. Purse the lips and exhale softly through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Very slowly come back to centre. Bring both of your knees into your chest. And then gently roll over to one side. And then come all the way back all the way up and then come onto your hands and onto your knees, come onto all fours. Take your arms forward, have your thumbs touching each other, inhale, look forward. As you exhale, just come down onto your forehead, 
Then lift your palms so you're cupping your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. Now you can begin to exhale through the nose. So inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Now you can bring your palms down. Look forward towards your hands. Inhale, take your arms slightly further forward. And then exhale, come down onto your forearms, onto your chest, onto your chin. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale for one. Inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. And then slowly come forward and down onto your forearms, coming into Sphinx Pose. And then lift your elbows, so come up. Hold it, inhale. Exhale for one. Inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Slowly come down, slide the hands by the lower ribs. Pressing up into baby cobra. And then exhale, pull all the way back. Tuck the toes underneath and come into down facing dog. You're going to stay here. Roll the shoulders out away from the ears. And just focus on slow, deep breathing. If you need to come down onto your knees and take a break, then that is okay. You don't have to stay in your down-facing dog if it's not suiting you right now. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Let's say for another three breaths, breathe in. Breathe out for five. Inhale. Exhale for six. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale for seven. Okay, now come forward. Take the right foot forward and come down onto your left knee. And then just come up into kneeling position. Roll the shoulders around and clasp the hands behind the back. Lift the chest. Big breath in. As you exhale, come into your lunge. Big breath in, as you exhale, come into your lunge. Roll the shoulders around. Deliberately lift the rib cage, and then slowly reach the arms up. And then try and take your rib cage up a little bit more. And then bring your hands gently and softly together. Arcing back, one, two, Three, bring your arms down, take your hands down and step into down facing dog. Step the feet back, come forward into a high plank, round the shoulders, very slowly come down onto your front, roll the shoulders back, inhale, baby cobra, Just keep a slight bend in the elbows. And then as you exhale, pull back, tuck the toes underneath, come back into your down facing dog. On the next breath, bring the left foot forward, land softly on the right knee, and bring yourself up into kneeling position. Roll the shoulders back, interlace the fingers, open up the chest, inhale. As you exhale, come into your lunge, inhale, Come back slightly. As you exhale, come into your lunge. Now stay there. Slowly start to bring your arms up. Arcing back. Inhale. Exhale, one. Breathe in. Breathe out for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Now bring your hands down onto the mat and step back into down facing dog. Step the feet back, come forward into your plank. Let 
let's see if we can hover in Chaturanga. Inhale, flip over the toes, up facing dog. As you exhale, pull back into down facing dog. Let's just stay here for two breaths. Inhale, exhale for one. Breathe in, breathe out for two. Look to your hands. Step the right foot forward, come down onto the left knee, and then come back up into your kneeling position. Take your hands onto the front knee now, coming into lunge. Two breaths, one, two. Now, lean over to your right side until your fingers touch down. And take that left arm over into a lateral stretch for three breaths. One, two, three. Bring your hands inside the foot, tuck the toes underneath, push into your back heel. Three breaths. One, two, Three, let's just take it back into down facing dog. Just pull the head and the chest gently through the arms, little bounce moves. And then let's just step the left foot forward, landing on the right knee and coming up into kneeling position. Just taking our turn at time, okay? So we're going to breathe in. As we breathe out, we drop down into the pelvis. Breathe in, just a little bit of light relief as we pull back. Breathe out, drop into the pelvis. Now stay here for two breaths. One. And two. Now bring the left fingertips down to the left side and reach the right arm over the top. Three breaths. One. Two. And three, and then gently bring the hands inside the foot. Tuck the toes underneath and push into crocodile lunge. Another three breaths. One, two, three. Let's just take it back into down facing dog. Hang out here for a moment. Take a big breath in. Exhale, big breath in, exhale, step the feet back, come forward into plank and slowly come down onto your front, all the way down onto your front. Take your hands by your lower ribs. Inhale, push the arms straight. You're going to stay here for four breaths. One, two, three, four. Pull all the way back to child's pose just to release the back. And then when you're ready, come back up onto all fours. Bring that left arm through, come down onto the left side of your body. Reach the right arm up, so the left arm is extended. Right arm comes up, and then right arm comes all the way around the back. Grab that left thigh. Try to pull that right shoulder open, opening into the right side of the chest. Three breaths, breathe in, breathe out for one, inhale, exhale for two, you can breathe out through your mouth if you want to, inhale, exhale for three, oh nice, slowly come back up. Onto all fours, chest dive down, so chest and chin, 
and knees and hands. Only things on the mat. Slide the legs away, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, pressing up into a strong cobra now. Think about bringing your pubic bone down towards the ground. Shoulders are rolling back. And then pull all the way back and push into down facing dog. Come back down onto your knees. Knees are hip distance. Left arm goes forward, right arm comes through and the left arm goes all the way up. Slowly take it all the way around your back. Look up, inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two, inhale, exhale for three, slowly release, come back up, nice and easy, tuck the toes underneath, pressing back into down facing dog, just hang out here, a couple of breaths, inhale, Exhale for one, breathe in, breathe out for two, set the feet back, come forward into your plank and then slowly come down onto your front. Now this time, turn the palms to face upwards, lift the ribs, lift the legs, keep the feet open, one, two, three, lower down onto your chin for a moment, clasp the hands behind you, lift the arms, lift the ribs, keep the feet down, one, two, three, bend the legs, take the hands by the lower ribs, pressing up, feet together, Imagine that the back of the head is coming very close to the feet. One, two, three. Now just keep the knees open and pull all the way down into a wide-legged child pose. Close your eyes, feel the body unlocking the tension. Now we're going to work on our shoulders, so when you're ready I want you to come all the way up to stand and come up to a wall, so I want you to find a wall and let me show you. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up and bring your hands up with your thumbs touching and then you're just going to push the chest towards the wall and stick your bottom in the air, so let me just get the right angle there, see if we can do it now. So arms up, thumbs touching, and with your hands just sliding down, you don't have to have thumbs touching, just a little stretch, stick the bottom out, have a little go, let me just see how you're doing. There you go. So push your chest to the wall, look up the wall, stick your bottom out. So you're looking up the wall, sticking your bottom out. Yay, nice. Okay, and then carefully come away. And then bring your hands shoulder height against the wall, shoulder width, and then just push your chest down through the arms, but don't bend your elbows. One, two, three, four. Slowly come back up. Okay. This is where you roll your mat over in half and then come to um, the wall and do your quad and psoas stretch. So just roll the mat over, maybe into a little roll, to be honest, because you want comfort for this knee here. 
So your knee goes right against the skirting board, your foot goes up, and to be honest, to be fair, the only thing that hurts me is my foot against the wall. So quite often I put um, my slippers on to do this one. Take the left foot forward, so you like a kneeling position on that left leg. And then try and press your shoulders and your head against the wall. One. <laughs> Take your time. That's it, a little bit of movement, a little bit of moving around. So the foot is just outside the glute, the bum, the shoulder blades and the head pressing against the wall. Feel it in the hip flexor, in the psoas, quadricep. Now, if you want to, you can actually walk your left foot forward a little bit more and place your hands on the knee and you'll feel it. So as you come away from the wall, coming into a deeper lunge, placing your hands on the knee. Now you're going to feel this very sharply in your quadricep. Okay, so don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. And then you can bring your hands down and walk your left foot forward a little bit more and stay in this position so you're supporting on your hands or if you have got a little bit more access, you can drop all the way down onto your hamstring using your fingertips to support you. Now, while the weather's nice and hot, this is a really good one to get to grips with. Lift the chest, lock up, use blocks, use cushions, use a human being, somebody would curl underneath. You can rest your hamstring on them. Okay, we'll come away. So release that side. You're going to feel it now. Let's go straight for the other side and get them out of the way. So come on to all fours again. Push the left knee right against the skirting board. The kneecap is on the floor. The foot is up the wall. Take your right foot forward so the foot is underneath the right knee and then just gently come up gently come up push your back your bum your shoulder blades against the wall if you want you can reach your arms up one two three Four, bring your hands down, walk that right foot forward a little bit and then take your hands onto the knee and come into that lunge again. One, you're looking good. Two, that's it. Three, four. Now bring your hands down and just slide or walk that right foot forward just a little bit. Stay here, or if you've got a little bit more room, use blocks. So blocks underneath the hamstring is a good one. Use fingertips, one, so that foot is up the wall. Two, just do it, just do the best you can. Three, four, one more, and five. Now release and let it go. Well done. We did it. We're going to use the wall again, just towards the end. Okay. So, not quite using it yet. Oh, where are we going? All right, so come back onto your mat and come back into down facing dog. Step the feet back and come forward into your plank. Lower down slowly onto your tummy, roll the shoulders back, inhale, pressing up into Cobra Pose, look up, one, two, three, pull all the way back and tuck the toes underneath again, come down onto your knees and then just roll the front of the mat over for comfort where you are. Come up onto your knees into a kneeling position. Just 
need to move these out of the way. Okay, push the hips forward. That's the first thing to do. Push the hips forward, lift the ribs, push the hips forward, keep pushing so they're forward of the knees. Lift the ribs, reach the arms up, interlace the fingers, push the palms up. Now release the arms into cactus arms, elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades and take a slight backward up, 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 tuck the toes underneath, reach for your heels. You can bring your head up, if you don't like taking your head back, you can bring it up like me, so I'm showing you now. Hold it there, keep lifting, keep pushing forward, pushing forward and then release. As you release, just sit down. Don't lean forward, just sit nice straight spine, tummy pulls in to protect. Take a few breaths here and just feel what you're feeling. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Now you can use the wall for this next one or you can just do it where you are. You don't need the wall, but um, it just feels a bit more effective. So what I'm going to do is push my hips and thighs against the wall, lift the ribs and then reach back and then make sure that the thighs and the pubic bone stay in contact with the wall, lifting into the upper back. That just makes you do it properly, that's all it does is it makes you do it properly. So have a little go. Take your time. Steady breath. That's it. So if you're not using the wall, just push your hips forward. Lift your chest, push your hips forward. There you go. Nice. And then come back up. Sit back down on your heels. Now this next one's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, I know you're always up for a challenge. So you're going to push your hips forward, lift your ribs, and then you're just going to take your hands onto your calf muscles and go halfway down, maybe all the way down onto your head. Once you're down onto your head, bring your hands next to your shoulders and push your arms and try and push up. So that's a really tough one. So if you think there's no way I'm going to be able to go back. All you need to do is realise that this is not, you're not going to fall because you're actually holding onto your calf muscles. You're going to take your head back. You're not going to hurt yourself. If you're still not sure, then there is a cheaty way. So what you'll do is you'll lie down in your hero and come onto your head. As you come onto your head, bring your hands and bring your head in and then try to lift. Try to push up from this position. It's still a tough challenge, so don't be surprised if you're not doing either. But let me just watch you. Have a go, that's it. Good. Good. That's good. I'm glad to see you all having a go. That's so good. Well done. Woo. All right. So that is going to lead on to a pose called Kapratasana, which is a, an advanced back bend. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lie on our backs. If you've got blocks, you can treat yourself to this. So what you will do is place the block just on your back, just underneath your shoulder blades, not on your shoulder blades, underneath. So it's more on the rib cage. And then you can take your arms up and then over the top. If you haven't got a block, then lie on your back and lift your hips. 
Interlace your fingers underneath. And then I want you to push your hips so high that you feel it in your groin. Feel it in the lower abdomen. You can push your chest towards your chin. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Squeeze your knees towards each other. And then lift your heels. Tuck the tailbone under. And then carefully come down. Don't be tempted to bring your knees into your chest. Just stay there for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Now, take your arms over your head. Take one hand next to the shoulder. Take the other hand next to the shoulder. Getting ready for Daniel Rasana full bridge. So you're going to inhale through the nose. As you exhale, just lift your hips. Inhale. As you exhale, push onto your head. And then lift and try and push the head off the ground. Hold it. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Well done. Carefully come down. Excellent. So everything we've done, shoulders, stretches, hip flexors, so as, it's going to help, all right? Now you can bring your knees into your chest. Bring them in to your chest. Give yourself a hug, just rocking gently from side to side. Now move your hips over to the right side of the mat and lift your legs in the air. Hook the right knee over the left, double wrap if you can, and then grab that right knee and pull it towards your rib cage. And then drop your knees down to the left side. Float the right arm out behind you. Look slightly over your right side. And try to surrender a little bit here. Try not to force anything. Just surrender. Inhale. Exhale. Relax both of your arms. Relax your arms. Big breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Slowly unravel the legs, come back to centre and shift your hips over to the left side and then hook the left knee over the right. Double wrap if you want. Pull the knees towards you gently and then let them drop over to the right side. No forcing, this is just a release for the lower back. Inhale, exhale, release any tension, let it go, let it all go. And then unravel the legs, back to centre. Raise the legs in the air and open the legs. Take the hands inside the legs and just create a little bit of resistance there. And just a little bit of recovery. A little bit of recovery. Grabbing the inside edges of the feet and then rocking from side to side as we Press the toes down, one and then the other, or both at the same time. And then back into happy baby position. And then slowly come all the way up into seated position. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, press the palms down, look towards your toes. One. Now, chin lock, engage, Jalandra Banda. Two, keep lifting the chest. Three, keep lifting. Four, one more breath. And five, relax, let everything 
soften. Come forward, belly pulls in, reach for the big toes. Inhale, look up and then exhale forward. Gaze towards your toes or drop the head down. One, two, three, four, and five. And then slowly come up. Lift the right leg, take the right foot over the left leg, bend the left leg back on itself. So this is a deeper twist. I know we've just done a reclining twist, but this one is um, a seated twist. You can't get enough twists in your practice. Sit tall, right hand on the mat behind you. Inhale, reach that left arm up. In fact, arc over to your right side. So just move your hands slightly over to support you. If I just turn around and show you a little bit more. So a big arc, a big lateral arc, and then come back up, reach up even higher, and then exhale, elbow over the knee. Inhale, lift, and then exhale to twist. One, two, Three, four, and five. And now slowly release. Stay here. Move that bottom foot forward and bring right knee on top of left knee, coming into Go Mukasana, Gao Cow Face Pose. If you want, you can add the shoulders in a moment. Let's leave them out of the equation to start with. So you take your hands onto your feet, inhale, and then as you exhale, we're just gently, slowly coming forward, forward and down, bringing the weight of the body over the thigh. If you want to, you can bring your hands forward on the ground. Two. Three, four, and five. Let's come up. Reach the right arm up and take it behind your head. You can hold your elbow and just make sure you're pulling that arm against your head like this. And then you can stay there or wrap that left arm around and try and clasp hands. Relax your left shoulder, don't tense it. Inhale and then as you exhale you can slowly come forward. Forward and just hook your chin over the knee. One, two, three. slowly release your arms make sure that left shoulder feels okay and then take the legs out and swap sides so left foot over the top of the right knee leaning over to the right bending that leg back on itself okay so make sure your big toe is down so that the knee doesn't collapse down Left arm out to the side, we do a lateral stretch, over to the side, one, two, three, four, can you go any further? And five, well done, come all the way up, reach that arm up, inhale, exhale, hook over the knee. Twist, one, two, three, four, and five. And then look forward, pull that back foot out 
out slightly and try and hover left knee on top of right knee now. Feet out to the side. You're going to inhale. As you exhale, ease your body forward. Do it nice and slowly. Listen to your tight spots. What are they telling you? Looking the chin over the knee if you can. Just letting go of any tension that you're holding on to. Just let it go. Breathe out. Breathe out. Let it go. Very slowly come up. Reach the left arm up. Grab the elbow. And hold. Stay here. Or take the right arm all the way around the back. Try to clasp and hold it steady. Now this is feeling very tight on the right shoulder. Two. Three. slowly release make sure that right shoulder feels okay leaning back release just have your feet hip distance hip width like this rolling from one side to the other just see what that feels like and then we're going to come up and bring the feet together for butterfly baddha konasana feel free to sit on a cushion or a block Roll the pelvis into the correct position. Take your fingertips behind you and just push gently forward. Now this is one I've struggled for for 16 years until I got it right. What I realised I was doing was I was grabbing my feet and forcefully trying to get myself down. And that was just causing pain and overstretching in the ligaments in the lower back. So what I've started doing and it's made a massive difference, is to use my fingertips to roll the whole pelvis forward instead of overstretching the ligaments in the lower back, roll the whole pelvis forward, then apply a little bit of weight on the feet, uh, sorry the knees, a little bounce like that, just a little bit while the body's forward. And then I found because the back isn't overstretched, there's no pain there, gentle grab of the feet, and the head will come all the way down to the ground. So it's the right method that works. Okay, so you don't need to spend 16 years. See if you can do this in, in half that time. Three, four, five. Now come up. Inhale. As you exhale, round the spine and bring your forehead onto your knees. One, two, three, four, and five. And then slowly come up. I hope that felt better. All right, so just grab your knees, bring the legs together. Lie down on your back, just to make sure your back hasn't overstretched. Just place your hands on your tummy and just notice how your back feels right now. Take some deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Now, squeeze your pelvic floor. Push your lower back into the ground firmly. And then take your arms forward like this. So lifting up, and then just see if you can sit all the way up without using your hands. And then roll back in slow motion all the way down. Take the arms over the head, come all the way back up. So we're just firing up the core, arms go up. Roll the tailbone under, and then slowly come back down. Let's just do two more in your own time, lifting up, nice and smooth, rounding, rolling back down, arms over the top, and then one more, all the way back up, and then all the way back down again. Okay, bring your knees into your chest, 
and then come all the way up. Take the hands underneath the knees, take the feet, knee height, hold it there for one, two, three, four, five. Drop the feet down, just give yourself a hug. Come back, take the hands behind the knees. This time, lift the legs straight. One, two, so lift the chest. Three, four, five. Cross the legs, give yourself a hug. Last one, we're gonna try and do this one without holding the legs at all. So legs up, hold, arms up, one, two, three, four, and five. Well done. Roll back down again with control. Take your arms over the head. Just feel the effects of just those simple exercises. Okay, so you don't need to exercise hours and hours, just five, ten minutes a day doing simple things like that keeps the body maintained. Now we're all prepared for a beautiful headstand. When you're ready, you're going to take your mat to the wall if you need to. I'm just going to demonstrate with the wall. Might as well, it's here. And interlace the fingers, support the back of the head, the elbows are in. If they go out, you lose it. The elbows must be in and down, lifting forward. Now what you can do, if you are using the wall, this is always a good thing to do, is you can push forward until your back is pressed really firmly against the wall like this. And then slowly walk the feet away, lift one leg and take a beautiful, faithful hop with the other leg. Come all the way up into your supported headstand against the wall. You can always take your feet away from the wall. You don't need to stay there. Stay in a relaxed frame of mind. That's it. Good. Nice. And when you've finished, come into your child's pose. And then we're going to do some um, EFT, tapping for stress reduction, anxiety reduction, good night's sleep. So to prepare ourselves, I just want you to lie on your back for a moment. Now EFT only works properly if you tap on the right points. So we can practice tapping and you need to listen to the points where I'm telling you, every time I'm moving the points around, you need to be on the ball and change. So you tap about eight times on one spot. Just little light taps, they don't have to be um, heavy. So as you're lying on the floor now, we'll just go through the points. So the first point is the top of the head. So just tap lightly on the top of the head. Now move to the centre of the forehead and tap. Now. Move to the inside corner of your eyebrow, so it's on the bone of the eye socket. Now move to the outer bone of the eye socket, so it's on the bone of the outer eye socket. Now move to the cheekbone right underneath your eyeball, 
cheekbone. Now just the skin above the top lip. Now the chin. And now under one of your collarbones, it doesn't matter which one, but right underneath the collarbone. And then where your bra strap would be at the side. And if you're a man, you just think bra strap. <laughs> okay, so come up to sit. You need to sit to do this one. So I've been speaking to people um, online and on the phone and generally people are okay. We're all kind of getting through this period of time okay, but there are times when there's an underlying um, sense of uncertainty of what's going on. So there's always this little bit of anxiety, a little bit of um, wondering and a little bit of fear. It's not a good feeling, okay? So what I want you to do is put one of your hands on your chest, one of your hands on your tummy, and I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to tune in to where you feel your stress is. Where do you feel your worries and your anxieties generally when you get it? To give you a clue, sometimes it's in the tummy, that's why we feel butterflies and knots, or, you know, sometimes we get irritable bowel. Sometimes it can be fluttering in the chest, a little bit of weirdness going on in the chest area. So tune into where you feel it, and I want you to create a statement in your own mind, and I'll give you an example. So when we start, I will say that I get... Um, fluttering across my chest. That's where I get it. When I feel anxious, I feel it across my chest. If you feel it anywhere else in your body, that's what you say for you. Okay? So it can be knots in the stomach, butterflies in the stomach, fluttering across the chest. Now, take your right hand and start to tap on your left, um, just underneath the finger, the little finger, just at the side of the hand. Okay? This is called the karate chop. And I want you to take a deep breath in while you're tapping here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Do this even if you're feeling good, okay? Because it's fantastic. So say after me out loud, even though, even though, I feel a little bit anxious about the world today. I feel a little bit anxious about the world today. I'm okay. I'm okay. And repeat, even though I feel a little bit tense in my body, my chest and my stomach, I'm okay. I'm okay. We have to say it once more. So even though I get stressed and anxious, I don't know what's happening in the world today, and I feel it in my body, I deeply and completely Love and accept myself anyway. Now, put your left hand down and start tapping on the crown of your head and say, this uncertainty. Move to the centre of the forehead, keep tapping. I feel it in my body. Move to the inner corner of the eyebrow. It feels very uncertain right now. Move to the outer corner of the eye socket on the bone. I feel anxious and stressed sometimes. Tapping under the eye on the cheekbone. I get scared sometimes and I feel it in my body. Just above the top lip, all these feelings on the chin, all this uncertainty. And you can actually tap on both, under both collarbones. I don't know what to do. Bra strap. I feel afraid. <sighs> now, just stop what you're doing. Put your hands on your lap and take a deep breath in. You've got to take a deep breath in. This is energy work. So inhale. And then exhale. <sighs> And again, inhale, and exhale. Put your 
Put your hand on your chest, hand on your tummy, just tune in to what you feel, how you feel. Take another deep breath. So maybe you're feeling something, maybe something's shifted, maybe you're feeling a bit lightheaded, a bit um, different. I don't know what you're feeling, okay? You have to tune into what you're feeling right now. You may be feeling good. Tap on the side of the left hand, even though I have some remaining feelings of anxiety, say it out loud. I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Even though I feel unsure, I feel it in my body, my chest, my stomach. I'm okay. One more time, even though I feel all wobbly sometimes in my chest, my stomach's in knots, I don't sleep very well. I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Drop the left hand, let's do another round, so tapping on the top of the head. All these feelings. Center of the forehead. All this stress and anxiety. Inside the corner of the eyebrow. All this uncertainty. Outside the eye socket. I don't know what to do. Underneath the eye on the cheekbone. I just know that I feel very uncertain right now. Just above the top lip, but it's okay. On the chin, I know really that I'll be okay. Under the collarbones, this won't last forever. And when you've said that, take a deep breath in. And exhale. Just at the bar strap side, or bra strap side even. All these feelings. I'm letting them go now. Take some deep breaths. Keep tapping, crown of the head. All these feelings. Deep breath in and blow out through the mouth. Centre of the forehead. I don't need to hang on to these feelings. Corner of the eyebrow. I can choose to feel good. Side of the eye. I can choose to feel calm. Underneath the eye on the cheekbone. I don't have to worry. It's okay. Oh, above the top lip. I don't have to worry too much about anything. We're all in this together. On the chin. And it's okay. We will be okay. Under the collarbones. I will be okay. Whatever happens, I will be okay. Okay, drop your hands, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, just take a two or three very, very big yogic breaths in now. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breath is very, very important. Inhale. Exhale. One more round. Tapping on the side of the hand. Even though the world is in an uncertain place right now, I know I'm okay. Even though the world is uncertain right now, I know I am okay. 